Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make this beautiful laptop I have for right now. So I paired it up with this special scale. I'm also going to be dropping a video on how I make this So if there's something interested in, you know, let's get right here. So let's get into the video. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is to um, divide my bust measurement by 4. So my bust measurement is around 33, 34 because I don't want it to be tight. So yeah, 34 divided by 4 gives me somewhat 8 and a half. So yeah, plus one and a half inches allowance for sewing, so that gives me 10. So yeah, I'm going to fold in the fabric and then it should give me 10. So it's more than I'm just going to adjust it a bit. So I'm going to make use of this straight piece so that you guys can just see the outline. Yeah. So at least it's 10 and yeah, that's perfect. So the length of the top, I want the length of the top to be um, around 18. So I'm going to mark it as 18 inches. Then plus around like um, one inch for folding and then half an inch for the screw just line. So that gives me 19 and a half. So I'm just going to mark 19 and a half and 19 and a half to create the straight line. So by the way, this is the back part. So I started cutting the back part first so that then I can make it the back part as a guide to cut the front. Yeah. So yeah, this is the amount of fabric I need for my back part. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to go ahead and mark out the one inches I added for the shoulder slants up here. So all my measurements will start from here. So yeah, my armhole measurement is around of eight. For this case, so this is my armhole measurement. This is my underbust measurement. So yeah. So my shoulder measurement is 14. So 14 divided by two gives me seven. So I'm marking seven inches plus one inches, sorry, plus half inch for joining to the sleeve. The same thing here. And then marking a straight line. So yeah, the next thing will be to mark out my shoulder. So the shoulder, I want the shoulder to be, I'm like, Let's say three and a half it does three. So for me, I'm just going to be going one inch down to get a shoulder slant and then join them together. Yeah, so the next thing now will be to create our angle. So I'm just going to like mark out my angle. So this for the back part. So the next thing is to measure. My bust measurement, which is 10, my waist measurement is 26. So that 26 gives me six and a half plus one and a half inch allowance. That's eight. So I'm just going to go ahead and join it together like this. So next, now will be the neck at the back. So I'm making use of three and a half inches just so it can be so you can use some. The back can also be at the front, like you saw in the beginning of the video. So yeah, and I was done with the back part. I'm just going to go ahead and cut it off. So guys, yeah, I'm done cutting out the back part, and this is what it looks like. So the front part is just like exactly the same as the back part, just that it has an extension. It's really nice. So basically, what you have to do is just to move the actual waist measurement without the allowance. So our actual waist measurement was 26, like I said before. So divided by four. Gives me six and a half, so we'll be adding six and a half to this particular measurement we have here. So since the bust is the highest point, let's move it over bust. So our bust gives us ten. So yeah, the front part now when cutting it out has to be sixteen and a half when folded. So when it's unfolded, we have thirty-three. So we're just going to go ahead and fold out sixteen and a half and also this exact length and yeah. So yeah, guys, I went ahead and cut out the same. Okay. The same pattern I have for the front part or the back part, but then I left my extension of six and a half, like I mentioned before. So, yeah, six and a half. So, the next thing I'm going to do now, I've cut out the same armhole and the side and everything. So, what's left is the neck part to create the wrap in front. So, what I'm just going to do now is just basically get to mark out the depth of the neck. So, yeah, I want mine to be around, let's say, six inches. So, now my group showing. So what I have to do now is just mark out this point 
and the point where I want my six inches to be, let me just leave this up. So yeah, point here and the point where I want my six inches to be. So I'm just going to go ahead and connect it down to this point here. And then you go ahead and cut it out. After I was done cutting this one, it looks like so this is the front part and here is the back part. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to go ahead and cut out the sleeve. So you can make it of any sleeve of your choice. For mine, I'm going to make it of puff sleeve. So before I cut out the puff sleeve, I have to extract a band that I'm going to use to tie the wrap to because like it's not wrapped up without a band. Like what's going to hold it? It's not going to wrap it. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and draft, cut out the band. So then I'm just going to make it of the remaining fabric to probably get the puff. Yeah. So I'm going to cut it four inches. So that when it's now folded and attached, it becomes two. Then when it's now sewn, it becomes one and a half. If you get one me. So yeah, this is our band. I'm just going to divide it into two, each for a different side. For each of the front piece. So yeah, with this renew fabric line, I'm just going to draft out my puff sleeve. So puff for Puffs with this one, just do. just take this part. Here's what we just like we describe it. So, what really makes it puff is the elastic that's attached underneath. Yeah, so. so, yeah, and I have my sleeve, I'm just going to notch it to the middle. Yeah, I'm just going to open here. So guys, yeah. So now that I'm done, the next thing I'm going to do now is just to go ahead to my machine and join, open this up. So this is the good side and this is the bad side. So I'm going to join both good sides together. So yeah, this is the good side and this is the good side of this. Yep. Yeah. I'm just going to go to the machine and join the shoulders. Sorry. I'll join the shoulders together after which it's gonna be like a jacket and then I'm going to use a bias tape or anything you like to just like hem around the neck from the wrappings to the back neck and then back to the front so guys yeah I'm finally done I mean I made this of the bias so this is what it's like right now so the next thing to do is to attach the sleeve so for mine I love shaping the clothes first before attaching the sleeve so I have my hand that I cut out earlier I'm just going to go ahead and then hem the ends of the hand so that there's a space for elastic to pass through. So I'm just going to measure my hand and pass the elastic that fits on my hand. Then I'm just going to go ahead and attach it. So I'm done with it. I've hemmed the neck, I've joined the sides, and I also went ahead to fold, hem the down. And I'm also done with attaching the brands and then joining the hands together. So what I'm just going to do next to go ahead and sew the hand to the armhole like so on both sides this also on this side so guys yeah i'm done attaching the sleeve so the next thing i'm going to do is just take this band i've turned inside out and then just like sew it here i'm doing it for both of them and yeah we're done that's how you make a wrapped dress